tuning is an absolutely beautiful journey that everyone should at some point explore. You don't have to be an expert to play in Open G or any other alternate tuning. Sometimes it comes down to learning different chord shapes. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you a bunch of major and minor chord shapes in Open G tuning. guys saying major or minor is kind of limiting since as you can see every time we play a minor chord we are automatically adding a lot of beautiful colorful notes to the chords it's super easy to tune in open G we gotta change three strings the low E string the A string and the top E string the low E string is now a D so we're gonna tune it a whole step down the fifth string, the A, is now a G. So again, it's a whole step down. The D, the G, and the B string is standard tuning, so we're not gonna change those. And the top E string is now a D, so it's a whole step down. We end up with D, G, D, G, B, and D. It's a beautiful G major chord with the D on the bass. So how do we play and come up with chords in open G? I think the most important step is to figure out where the root note of each chord is. We're gonna use the G string, which is now our fifth string, to learn the root note of each chord that we can play in the key of G major. So we have the root note G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G again. You wanna memorize this pattern. It's basically the G major scale on one string. The second step is very simple. We're gonna add the third of each one of these chords, and we're gonna add this note on the second string. The first chord is the G major chord, so we're gonna have G and B. The second chord is the A minor chord. We have A and C. The third chord is a B minor chord. We have B and D. Then we have the fourth chord is the C major. So we have C and E. The next chord is the D major. We have D and F sharp. Next chord is the E minor. We have E and G. The next chord is kind of interesting. It should be a F sharp diminished chord. We're gonna change it into something else. We have the F sharp and the A. And we go back to the G major, G and B. So we're already pretty good. We already have seven chord shapes. The awesome thing about the open G tuning is the fact that it allows you to add so much more color to these simple chord shapes by adding the third and the first string open to each one of these shapes. So we will have the thumb always on the fifth string, the index on the third, middle on the second, and ring finger on the first. And with a simple Pima, thumb, index, middle, and ring, we can create beautiful sounding chords. Of course, we are not going to analyze each one of these chords. The open strings are going to add so much extensions and colors to these chords. Just focus on the chord shape. Let's play all of them. an awesome approach and the cool thing is that we don't have to play always the same sequence of chords we can mix things up for example we could have G major D major E minor and C major again guys I'm calling these chords major minor but it's clear that we are adding a lot of different notes to the chords let's just add a little bit more rhythm in a different chord sequence and we end up with something like this. But what if we want to 
strum some of these chords. Well, in this case, we're gonna have to add one more fretted note, which is basically the fifth of each one of these chords. So far, we have the root note and the third of each one of these chords, but now we're gonna add the fifth as well. And we're gonna add this note on the fourth string. So for the G major, we're gonna add the fourth string open, A minor, we have root note, third, and fifth on the fret number two. Same thing for the B minor, we just go on the uh, fret number four, so it's four, four, and three. For the C major, we're gonna add D note G, so it's five, five, five. Same thing for the D major, seven, seven, seven. And for the E minor, it's nine, nine, and eight. And for the last chord, the F sharp, it's supposed to be a diminished chord, but we're gonna change it into this. So we have 11, 12, and 10. It's quite interesting chord. It's more of a D over F sharp. And back to the G major. So now we have the perfect strumming chords. I like to mute the low D string, so the sixth string will be muted and we can strum these beautiful chords and it sounds beautiful. Of course, we're gonna strum five strings. guys we can also finger pick these chords in the most simple way just thumb index middle and ring thumb index middle ring and then the second time we're gonna do thumb index middle with the ring on the first string just to change the singing note of each one of these chords in open G but it doesn't mean that we always have to play in the key of G major we could play in the key of E minor which is the relative minor key of G major and so we could start with an E minor chord like this interesting idea E minor D and C but you see how beautiful it sounds and I changed the last chord into some kind of a major six chord or something it's just a it's very simple shape you see how much we can experiment and change while trying different chord shapes and of course guys to wrap this up we can put it all together come up with a pretty cool rhythmic finger picking pattern and try all these awesome chords. I'm gonna leave you with this awesome idea. The tab is down below. Enjoy this lesson and I'll see you soon.